thank you very much, first of all, for invitation. It's a pleasure for me to, to, to be a part of the first place tag in Poland. Um, in preparation to speak here today, I, I was wondering what is the best word which describes, describes the, the property tech industry, the prop tech industry, the, the current construction industry, the current real estate, and, and actually acceleration as the word seems to be the proper one, along with efficiency, integration, innovation, but acceleration is the key word. Everyone wants to be faster, everyone wants to improve the methodology to deliver quicker, everyone wants to be, to move faster, to be better. And, um, and modular construction seems to be one of the very interesting expressions of the current time. Because it's an ex example of integration and it's an ex example of, of acceleration. And, um, it seems like the world goes like crazy, goes modular. And there are many, many different press around the world. There are many different companies starting with modular construction, big brands like Marriott, Google, Amazon. All of them want to try, want to move, want to develop, grow using modular construction. And it's, it's a lot. And uh, it means a lot, actually. So why? Why actually this happening? Um, we're struggling with many different issues and nowadays. So it's not only because of the big demand of acceleration and big amount demand of being more efficient, but it's also because we're struggling with a very low productivity in the industry. We struggle with many, many delays on the construction sites. As you can see, I don't want to go to details, but I think that all of us are aware what are the issues. And also there are issues related to labor, labor shortage, related to the lack of sk skilled people who want to work in the construction. I believe that your children don't want to work as a carpenter or painter or, or working with concrete on site. I don't believe that you as parents would like your children to do it. So this is it's a big challenge for the future when we think about it. So modular construction is a bit, seems to be a very interesting option and we are happy that DMD is a part of this trend and we want to be a part of this of this trend. So so we are quite young. We are almost three years old. So like a baby, but uh, but already walking and uh, using um, have very good, let's say, behaviors. And um, but as a team, we have much longer experience. And we have already, despite of very short time, we have projects, let's say, around the world. Um, so we have project in US, we have some projects in Holland, we just get the project in England, we have project in Poland and in Germany. There are different, different scales, different diversity, and some high rise, some small scale, some prototypes, but this is the map of where we want to be and where we are, and we want to be even farther. So, as uh, probably some of you already know, uh, we are involved and we are honored to be selected to be um, modular supplier for AC Marriott, and so we're providing um, the guest rooms for that world tallest modular hotel, and also uh, we were already awarded some prizes, like property design award, there was a nomination, so it was a big challenge for us to be there, and also we got um, a first award in Las Vegas this year for our student unit solution, which um, the jury found us a very innovative. So the aim, the mission of DMD is to integrate and technology, quality, and aesthetic. It's actually my personal mission, uh, which I really believe, and our team is really believing. So this is a main driver. We want to change the image of modular construction. Maybe it sounds a bit silly, but this is what we want to do, actually, because for most of you, probably modular construction is identified with low quality, with temporary solution, with containers or whatever, mobile homes or panelized systems. It's not volumetric, actually, but many people think that panelized system, it's modular. It's not really modular if you want to, if you want to use the word volumetric. 
So this is the mission, and this is how we want to work. And uh, technology we understand as innovation, as inno efficiency, as acceleration. And uh, we do it using our very ambitious clients, let's say, because we are very happy because our clients want to pay for prototypes. So I know that many companies, many startups really struggling with how to find the, find the money, how to test the prototype and then move to the market. So actually, we are very lucky because we have many actually ambitious um, clients who, who start with us, working with the prototypes, and then, um, uh, then move forward with us. So there are two projects that uh, I just wanted to show you, two different prototypes. Small scale, then I will move to high-rise. I, I didn't want to start with high-rise because then you wouldn't be interested in this. <laughs> so that, that was the strategy. So there are two uh, products. Uh, DMG, as the production company, it's something probably different than all this Pro, uh, pro proposals which were prepared before, presented before, which are more um, focused on IT solutions. So we are a real production company. We have facility, 15,000 square meters. We have people working on there. So we have cranes. We have all these things. We, it's not virtual. It's reality. And is this, there are a lot of challenges to, to work with this technology and to improve it. So here you can see uh, two different products, because as DMD we work on own products that we want to sell and we want to multiply, and also we work on individual projects like for AC Marriott, for Mercedes currently, and for other big brands. So, so it's, the, it's more like customization, but also to, create, to have more sustainable model of, of running the business, we want to play with two different areas, so products and individual projects. So here, uh, on the right side, there is a um, student uni solution. So it was the project that we were awarded by, by uh, Modular Building Institute in Las Vegas this year. And on the left side, there was uh, some kind of recreation concept for luxury recreation parks in Holland. So now we're like, trying to, to sell it to different markets, adapting it to many different legal requirements, because it's very important to understand that each country has different requirements in regards certification, in regards transport, um, transport requirements. So it's not so easy. We have to transport it. We have to pass all the exams to be there in the market. Okay. So there are some. There are some more information about these projects. Um, So there are different stages, steel, frame. And uh, what is very important about DMD um, and about actually our company is this company is run by architects. It's something very unique because when you, when you look at the companies around the world, there usually there, are, there is a very limited role for architects. They are most engineers and construction engineers. So I'm an architect, my background is architect, and the main top managers are architects. So the, the connection with beauty, with aesthetic is very important for us, and that's why also this mission is, is really serious. And we want to sell like this. We want to show that modular buildings can be beautiful and can be efficient also, of course. So there are some different slides showing the process, facility, turnkey product from DMD. And um, quality, we understand as the control, as the, as, the, as the possibility to run the production process in a fully controlled environment, which is impossible in, on a, when you go to the construction site, conventional construction site. So there are many different phases that you have to run. There are many different quality inspection on many different levels that we have to do before the models leave the facility. It's very complicated. It's not only building. It's also testing on, any, on each singular particular phase. And um, there is one project that is close to Warsaw. It's an extension of the modular hotel Bonifacio. So this is the first project which was built by DMD. And we started in 2017. And actually, we signed the contract. There was no design. We were very brave and maybe too brave to, to sign this contract at the time. But actually, uh, the project is very successful. So there was nothing. And we designed, we built, and within Actually, we signed the contract in March, and in November there were guests. 
and we provided everything with all this finishing because we were also responsible for interiors. So it was very, a very short time frame, not very big proje project, but quite advanced because there is even swimming pool and open spaces, which is not very typical for modular construction. And so this is the, the most prestige project, which is very important for worldwide industry, modular construction industry. This is the World Tallest Modular Hotel, which is going to be located at 6th Avenue in New York City and going to be shipped from Poland, uh, from actually Skavina. So the trucks take models to the port and then they ship to New York City. And it's um, 27 floors. Actually, on the slide, you will see 25 because the project already get two more. And uh, there are 160 guest rooms. And we are responsible for the modular part because the project has conventional part and modular, that which I will express, I will present later. It's a very early stage of production because the movie is from, yeah, from uh, some months before. And uh, so you, you cannot see too much. But what is important, we start with the prototype, as you can see. And so it's a very important element of working with the modular construction. So you start with the prototype, you verify, you test, you, you have a long checklist. And then when you accept, you can really go to the next, um, next phase. So this is the location, quite prestige, is a view of, from the Empire State Building. Uh, it's old photo now. There is actually already there are some works which conventional with the conventional technology. So what is interesting? So these two phases are running at the same time. So the podium is built in New York right now, and the modular part is built at DMD in Scavina right now. So it's just impossible when you think about the typical technology, typical conventional technology. Another thing is that it's like two different continents, and then we're going to connect them. It's quite interesting and challenging. So, so the podium um, includes all open spaces which require more flexible, more flexible system. And with the modular construction, it would be very difficult to have it. So, so that's why um, it's a very typical, actually, solution. So when you go to many different high-rise, modular high-rise or modular buildings, there are not too many, actually, but, but there are some. This is a very typical situation. Podium, conventional guest rooms or other floors, modular. And uh, inside, there is a core, the yellow line, the core, which includes conventional core, which is built also on site, lifts and staircase, and, uh, and the rooms, which are on the left and on the right side, with the corridors, are built in the end. As you see, the site is very tiny. Um, so this is another advantage of modular construction. If they wouldn't use this technology, probably they would never use the site, because it's hard to close 6th Avenue. And it's hard for the logistics with transport. So it's actually, your company is a great support for the modular system. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so we started with the prototypes and um, it was a very big challenge for us and we got 25 people from Marriott who came and, and walked to the facility and verify each single element then we passed the exam and we were, lucky, we were happy. And uh, so this is one of the turnkey finished product, two guest rooms connected to each other. So all the photos are from the facility, so everything was built there and um, yeah, so actually some people even consider to stay there and sleep there uh, because we work quite long, like even 18 hours per day. So there were, there were missing beds. <laughs> um, yep, so this is the distance that we're going to achieve. Unfortunately, we cannot send it by internet or by cloud, unfortunately. Um, but um, we use a typical transport system oversee one ship, one tour, uh, one hotel. So thank you very much.